Bank of Kenya Act, uh, Clause 11. First to face the Finance Committee's vetting panel was Jairus Mohamed Nyaoga, the nominee to the seat of CBK Chairman. Mohamed Nyaoga, do hereby solemnly affirm. Nyaoga, who has been a lawyer for the last three decades, also holds various board positions which include that of Chairman of Ecobank Kenya. Nyaoga is also heading the Commission of Inquiry into the petition for the possible dissolution of Makueni County. Do you think this uh, appointment can be too much for you uh, if I am approved to uh, resign from Ecobank to start with because uh, there is a conflict which arises there? Um, software technologies, I should not be resigning on, uh, in, in media, on media, but uh, perhaps that's something that I will want to do. And uh, I'll try and deceive off others so that uh, I remain focused uh, on, uh, on, on, on the job. Then followed the nominee to the seat of CBK Governor Dr. Patrick Ngugi Njaroge. Ngugi, a senior advisor at the International Monetary Fund, was confronted with questions surrounding how he will tackle prickly economic issues, such as how to tame the country's persistently high interest rates and the recent rapid depreciation of the Kenyan shilling. We have countries which, they, which regulate interest rates uh, by legislation. It would be a mistake and a big mistake for that matter, to believe that we can control interest rate by fiat or by law in a legislative way. The question of this depreciation of our shilling, now that you'll be coming in as a governor, how do you, how do you see it to address it? My recommendation here would be that the, the, the shilling should continue uh, to be determined more by market forces than by fiat, you know, or by pegging it to a currency. Jaroge was quick to assert that he would work with commercial banks to tame the high cost of loans and interest rate spreads in the country. I think there's no way that we can, I mean, there's no way of moving ahead without the commercial banks being fully on board on whatever we are going to do. The nominee to the post of CBK Deputy Governor, Sheila Mbijewe, however, held the view that it is high time the banking sector was restructured to offer specialized loan products. However, the vetting session wasn't short of light moments. I am actually a teetotaler, if I can confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> the CBK Governor nominee also had to explain why he's still single at the age of 54 years. I'm single by choice. It's not because there is a, a problem or whatever other, uh, or shortage, I assume. Um. The committee is, however, expected to compile a final report on the three nominees for tabling before the National Assembly for subsequent approval or rejection. Patrick Igunza, The Big Question.